Once upon a time, nestled amidst rolling hills and a glistening river, there lived two monks in a small monastery. Elder monk Ren, weathered by time and wisdom, was known for his unwavering commitment to mindfulness and compassion. His companion was a young novice named Kai, whose heart was filled with an eagerness to learn. One sun-drenched afternoon, Ren and Kai set off on a pilgrimage to a neighboring village. Their path was serene, a gentle breeze rustling through leaves and birdsong filling the air. Suddenly, their journey was interrupted by the sound of soft weeping. Turning a bend, their eyes fell upon a young woman, Maya, sitting at the riverbank, tears flowing freely down her cheeks. Ren's heart softened with compassion, while a puzzled frown creased Kay's brow. My dear, Ren addressed her gently. What troubles you so? Maya looked up, her eyes mirroring the tempestuous river. I must reach the village on the other side, she explained, but this river is too deep and swift to cross. I fear my journey will end here. Without hesitation, Ren said, allow me to assist you. He gently lifted Maya into his arms and with measured steps, waded through the river, safely depositing her on the opposite bank. Maya offered her heartfelt gratitude, then hurried towards the village. Ren returned to Kay's side. The young novice, however, couldn't contain his inner turmoil. For hours, his mind wrestled with what he'd witnessed. As the sun began its descent, Kai finally spoke, Master, as monks, are we not forbidden from close contact with women? Your actions have confused me. Ren looked at Kai with understanding. My dear Kai, he began, let us sit and discuss this. Under the twilight sky, they settled on the soft grass. Ren explained, Our journey as monks is to cultivate compassion and to ease suffering wherever we encounter it. Maya needed help, and I provided it. That was my duty in that moment. Kai nodded slowly, deep in thought. But Master, doesn't such an act go against our vows? Ren smiled, a twinkle in his eyes. Kai, tell me, did I carry the woman across the river, or did I leave her behind? A long silence fell over them as Kai pondered his master's question. Suddenly, a wave of realization washed over him. You left her behind, master, Kai whispered. Ren nodded. Indeed. We must learn to act with intention and then let go. An act of kindness doesn't bind us, but clinging to the memory of the act can weigh heavy on our hearts. Kai absorbed this new perspective. The woman, her plight, they were part of the past, like the river's currents. His master had acted with compassion and then moved on, his spirit unburdened. Master, Kai said, this world is filled with problems, big and small. How can we transform them all? Ah. Kai, that is the journey of a lifetime, Ren replied. Let us start with mindfulness. By being truly aware of ourselves and the world around us, we see our problems and their causes more clearly. Like seeds, they cannot grow in the open light of awareness. He continued, remember, everything is impermanent. Our problems too shall shift and change. By embracing that change, we learn to let go and adapt. Ren held Kay's gaze. Focus on progress, not perfection. Our spiritual path is made of small, steady steps. Celebrate them. Negativity can cloud our hearts, Ren said. But we can cultivate positivity instead. Focus on gratitude, compassion, and even forgiveness. These are the sunlight that helps blessings grow from problems. Finally, Ren smiled. Kai, wisdom does no good locked within us. Sharing with others reinforces what we have learned and inspires them to do the same. Let your journey light the way for others. The stars twinkled above as Kai absorbed his master's words. He was beginning to understand the transformation Ren spoke of. 
He would face his own problems, but now he was armed with the tools of Buddhism to turn those trials into stepping stones rather than stumbling blocks. As their pilgrimage continued, Kai felt a new lightness in his heart. He had a long way to go, but today he had witnessed the power of a mindful heart and glimpsed the path of a true monk.